we will now review the standard cranial nerve tests. The first cranial nerve is the olfactory nerve. For this test, what we do is take a cotton ball and some alcohol and then occlude one nostril and place it under the nostril. Do you smell that? Yes. Okay. And now occlude the other nostril. Do you smell that? Yes. The second cranial nerve is the optic nerve. The first test that we'll be doing is for perimetry. I want you to tell me when you first see this pen. I see it. Okay. And again? I see it. Good. Normal is 180 degrees. The third cranial nerve is the oculomotor nerve. The first test that we'll be doing is the pupillo light reflex. For this, we shine a light into one eye and check for constriction. If the constriction isn't even, that may indicate functional hypoadrenia. The second test is the consensual reflex. For this one, we shine a light into one eye and look at the other one for constriction. The next test is for distance accommodation. For this, we block one eye and bring the pen close to the other eye. The pupil should constrict as we come closer. Then we ask the patient to please look inferior and lateral. Look inferior and lateral. The fourth cranial nerve is the trochlear nerve. For this, we ask the patient to move your eyes superior and obliquely. The fifth cranial nerve is the trigeminal nerve. We'll be testing the facial sense by taking the soft brush and touching the, the forehead, the cheek, and the jaw. Do you feel that? Yes. Okay. And you can fake it a few times to see if they're actually feeling it. And it's good to test on both sides. Next, we test the strength of the masseter muscle. Open your jaw, please. Now close it against my resistance. Good. We're checking for weakness here. The sixth cranial nerve is the abducens nerve. For this, we'll be doing the lateral rectus test. Just follow my finger as it moves from side to side. The seventh cranial nerve is the facial nerve. For this, we'll be testing the muscles of expression. So smile, frown, and now wrinkle your forehead. The eighth cranial nerve is the acoustic nerve. The first section we'll be testing is the cochlear section, which has to do with hearing. The first test we'll be doing is the Rene test. What we do first is take a tuning fork, hit it against your side, 
and touch the patient's mastoid process of their temporal bone. Please tell me when you stop hearing that. Okay. And now place it against the ear. Do you still hear that? Yes. In this case, the air conduction is longer than the bone conduction, which is normal. If the bone conduction were longer than the air conduction, that would be a positive test. The next test is the Weber test. For that one, again, we hit the tuning fork and tell me which side is loudest. They're the same. Since they're the same, that test is normal. If one side was louder, that would be a positive test. Next, we test the vestibular section. Please stand up, close your eyes, and stand on one foot. We're checking for loss of balance here. As we can see, she's losing balance, which is a positive test. The ninth cranial nerve is the glossopharyngeal nerve. For this test, we touch the patient's soft palate with a tongue depressor and check for a gag reflex. It's positive if there's no gag reflex. The tenth cranial nerve is the vagus nerve. As the patient says, ah, the uvula should rise evenly. Say, ah, please. Ah. Very good. It's positive if the uvula rises to the side opposite of innervation. The eleventh cranial nerve is the spinal accessory nerve. For this test, this patient shrugs their shoulders against resistance. We're checking for the strength of the muscle. The twelfth cranial nerve is the hypoglossal nerve. The patient sticks out her tongue and moves it from side to side. Note for any restrictions in motion. Very good. 